Hello guys, let's start part 2. Let's go cut and size the fiberglass fabric. I've already done a bunch of tests to figure out how many layers this airplane actually needs. Enough to keep it strong, but not too heavy. In this case, two layers of 30 grams fiberglass fabrics are perfect. I've tried a couple different methods before and each one's got its pros and cons. The first method is vacuum bagging and the second one is the hand layup. With the vacuum bagging method you can save some weight and get a really smooth surface finish. But it's a difficult process and need experiences and tools. Since it uses less resin, the bond between foam and the fiberglass is weaker compared to the second method and it doesn't really work for complex shapes like field slash. On the other hand the hand layup method is easier to do, doesn't need any special tools and give a much stronger bond between fiberglass and foam. But the structure ends up a bit heavier and the surface finish isn't that great so since we are gonna work on the surface later that's not a big deal for us so i'm going with the second method i'm using epoxy resin with 20 percent mix ratio for the layout the hardener i use is the fast type so after mixing the resin and hardener i pure it into a large container that way it can release heat more easily and won't heat up too fast, giving me more working time before the proxy starts to cure.
I'm using pill ply for the hinges. The best choice for this would be Kevlar, but since I don't have any, I'm going with pill ply. The reason pill ply works as a hinge is that resin doesn't really bond with uh, this material. It stays flexible after curing. Kevlar behave the same way. But fiberglass on the other hand fully bonded with resin and become solid. So after the part is cured when we cut the control surfaces and bend it that pill layers act as a perfect hinge. The wing with fiberglass has cured and now we can peel off the release wing. Here's the result, though it won't stay like this. The edges will be trimmed and the surface will get sanded smooth. The fuselage layup is down and is now ready for primer. I'm using a fast drying primer and usually spray two thin coats over the surface. Okay, primer's down. Now it's time to sanding. When I go over the surface with 240 grit sandpaper, the primer shows all the low spots that need a bit of filler. That the way I usually find the spots that need putty. These lower spots you see are because when I was trimming the wooden parts, those areas got more sanding and the foam went a bit lower. Now it needs some filler to make the surface smooth again. On the next part I want to work on the finished surface and painting the entire body. So see you on the next part.